G'day everyone, it's your boy Jordan CSNO here, and welcome to another ah! video on the dark web. Where today we're making a video about Halo Infinite. Very original, I know. But really though, this is actually something I kinda wanted to talk about. Like to be honest, I kinda wanna share my thoughts about the Halo Infinite gameplay reveal and talk about the controversy surrounding it of course, but you know, at the same time I'd much rather make another video, but since there's really nothing else to make a video on, this is what we're doing boys. Let's start the video. Editor men, play the intro. Haha, <laughs> get it? It's funny because I'm talking to myself. I have issues. So the Halo Infinite gameplay reveal released and um, there's been a lot of controversy about the graphics. Some people are saying the graphics look absolutely terrible. Some people are saying the graphics look okay. Some people are trying to say the graphics are actually great and it's just because the game takes place in dark areas that they look bad. Which, you know, the game took place in a lot of light areas too, like, I don't really buy that. And of course, there was that one infamous moment. Not gonna lie, this meme's actually quite funny. In case you're wondering, uh, where I got it from, I'm still in one of JTEC's servers from when we had the debate. I actually don't know how I'm still in the server because he's blocked me on Twitter and he's banned me from his other Discord server. Couldn't imagine why he'd do this. Although I'm crying on the inside, like, I can't read any more of JTEC's tweets, what a tragedy. Unless I create another account. But anyways, back to the video at hand. So, what are my thoughts on this entire controversy? Honestly, I think the Halo Infinite graphics, they look okay. They're not particularly great graphics, like, I'd say they're probably at best, like, maybe a 6 or 7 out of 10. Okay, but they're not awful. Could Microsoft have done a whole lot better with the graphics? Yes. Even Halo 5 on the Xbox One looked better than this. But honestly though, graphics don't really bother me. As long as the game runs smoothly and looks decent, you know, I I'm all good. Plus, I'd much rather have worse graphics than a worse frame rate. One complaint I've been seeing is that it isn't a great representation of next gen. And I really have to ask, what do people expect from next gen? Because the next generation of consoles aren't gonna outperform like two, three thousand dollar gaming PCs and still only cost like five, six hundred dollars. But an even bigger question I have is, how do people think that the next generation of consoles are gonna be the most revolutionary gaming technology on the market? Because I can guarantee you, they won't be. Like, this is the first piece of gameplay that we have seen from either Microsoft or Sony. Like, if these companies had this revolutionary technology that could outperform PCs and they could still manufacture on the cheap, we would be seeing much more gameplay than this. No doubt most games will probably have better graphics than what we're seeing here, but I think people are expecting way too much from these consoles. But anyways, for a video about a gameplay reveal, there is one thing we haven't talked about, and that is the actual gameplay. And not gonna lie, the Halo Infinite gameplay actually looks pretty good. It looks like it'll have an open world vibe to it, which, you know, pretty big change from the original Halo, which, you know, had a set level structure, whereas this looks like it's gonna be open world. So, you know, that could turn out pretty well. Hopefully it does, because I'm actually kind of interested in Halo Infinite, and depending on the price of it when it comes out, I might actually buy it. I say depending on the price because, uh, I'm a poor boy, okay? I have, like, three dollars in my spending account. Which probably means I should get a part-time job and stop being a lazy dumbass. But overall, Halo Infinite looks like it has good gameplay, meh, graphics. And really, I think people should just focus more on the gameplay rather than the graphics. But anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. I know it was very short, like my pee-pee. But if you did enjoy, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, it helps a lot. And you know what, if you really want, share this video because YouTube's not going to push it since it's not 10 minutes. But anyways, that's all for today. So until next time, peace off.